everybody, it's Rain. So if you remember, in the last episode of Let's Spin This, we spun this beautiful merino and mulberry silk mix. So today, we are going to be spinning this. And then we are going to ply the two together and see what a gorgeous combination that is. So before we start, the first thing we need to do is take a closer look at this fiber. It is very silky and soft, and it has quite the sheen on it. It definitely has silk in it and wool. My guess is that it's Tussle Silk because it has a little bit of a different texture than the Mulberry Silk like in our last one had. Here are the two together. I think they're going to go quite good together, don't you? I'm going to go ahead and link the video of me spinning the blue fiber up in the eye if you're interested in that. So I just found out this fiber is 70% merino wool and 30% silk. So it should be a perfect match to our 80-20 blue that we spun up. So let's get started, shall so we? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to draft out a little bit. Open it up a little bit down through here and draft it out. And we're going to draft out from the other end. This one's definitely easier. So I'm going to come down here to this end, tie a little knot. So that we will know to not draft out from this end and to always start from this end. I've got it set on the Z twist. I'm going to put it at about 12. Flip our spinner on. I'm going to keep this near so that I can keep a check on the thickness and make sure we get about the right thickness of it. Thread up our leader. Thread it through a little bit off to the side. Go ahead and start our spin. Now, as with silks, you have to ensure that you have enough twist and you also have to keep your little break hand back here towards the back so that you don't um, have a hard time drafting out the fibers. I'm going to up that speed just a tad bit since we are going pretty thin on this. And I'm not worried too much about the thickness. I just want to make sure that it's pretty close in similarity to our other blue on top that we spun. And I'm going to go ahead and stop after about a minute of spinning. And we are going to do a little plyback test here. You just take a length of your spun yarn, make a V, and let it twist back on itself. And that is looking pretty good. I did think it was a little thick against the blue, so I thinned it out a bit. And I just spun it the way that the fiber told me it wanted to be spun. As you can see, we are still at the end of the braid, so this is the way the fiber will act if it is pre-drafted, as opposed to this, which is how it will look if it's not pre-drafted. And, and you will have to work across the top of the braid. This is a short forward draw. It is a worsted style, and I want you to watch closely right here. With silks, this happens a lot. See that fiber a little bit got pulled up and into that supply, and now you have like a undesirable bit and I always try to get rid of those this was a semi worsted style I wasn't trying to get it perfect but I don't like to have pieces of fiber just laying on top of the twist that's the only way I can describe it the fibers are not all parallel you've got some tangled up and they're just on top not twisted in the way they should be if you're spinning woolen style you won't have to worry about that at all so I went ahead and removed that and I'm going to show you how I joined them. Just fluff your end out and then fluff your yarn coming from your wheel out. 
quite a bit. The key is to make sure that there is no twist while you are laying them together. And then add your twist and draft out a bit and it will join it perfectly. I always want to include a nice join in there, like if you pull the fiber apart. My aim with this video series is to show you what it's like to spin this fiber. And I want it to be as if you're standing right next to me looking over my shoulder while I'm spinning. That's my aim. So let's take a look at a nice juicy up close shot of me spinning this top right across the top of the braid. I want to show you real time going right across the top of the braid and you can really see my technique here and the individual fibers. I think this really gives a good representation of how the fiber is going to behave when you have it in your own hands. You can see how I kind of untwist it a bit and I like to let my twist reach back into my fiber supply ever so slightly just to pull up enough fiber to maintain the same consistency each time. Here is also a quick little clip of me spinning without letting the twist come back into the fiber supply. This was really the only type of pre-drafting I did. I just kind of pulled my fiber supply out a little bit like I'm doing here, just to keep the fibers nice and even as I spun across the top of the braid. Sometimes they can get a little messed up and pulled in this or that direction, but it really wasn't that much of a problem with this fiber and I was very impressed with it. This little clip here is what it would look like if it was pre-drafted a bit. Pre-drafting makes the braid a thinner diameter and it can be a little bit easier for a beginner spinner to spin, but for me it was the opposite, so you'll just have to experiment and see what works best for you and your spinning style. So here we are finishing up the braid. The ends of these blended comb tops can be a little challenging sometimes, but this one was an absolute joy to spin. I really, really loved working with it. So here is our finished bobbin. Just look at that gorgeous sheen. It is hard to show you the true sheen of this fiber on camera. It is such a gorgeous gold, like an Aztec gold color. So pretty. All right, so as I said earlier in the video, we are going to be plying these two together. So feel free to stick around if you want to hear a little bit more about these fibers and watch a little plying montage of these two fibers being plied together. I flipped my spinner to the S-twist position. I spun my singles Z-twist, so I will be plying them S-twist. If you need a more in-depth video on plying, you can check the I in the top right corner. I'm going to link my spinning playlist there and you'll find other videos where I go over a more detailed explanation of my plying setup. I'm not going to be going over it in this video for time's sake. Okay, so I did a little research and this gorgeous gold fiber that we are spinning today is available on paradisefibers.com and it is called Lynx. It is a part of their Constellation collection and it is 70% merino wool top and 30% silk. And as I said before, I'm pretty sure it's Tussa silk. It has a different texture than mulberry silk. The micron count is 20 to 23, so it is quite fine and very, very beautiful. And this was more fun to spin than the blue fiber. And I'm going to let you know what it is. It's also available on paradisefibers.com. And it is called Skyscape. It is 80% merino wool and 20% mulberry silk. And it is also a very gorgeous fiber. I did notice it is a little bit harder to spin just because the mulberry silk is a lot more slippery than your average wool is as to be expected so here i am finishing up that last bobbin we did not win at bobbin chicken but that's the way that the cookie crumbled on this one because the lynx fiber the 
70 30 that we spun today just wanted to be spun a little bit more thin and i also am very happy with that because that blue is going to pop out just a tad bit more and kind of catch your eye a little more than the gold will and that's kind of what i was going for on this yarn so here's what we had left of our lynx fiber and now here is the bobbin what you've all been waiting for and now through the magic of youtube i'm going to skein it up wash it thwack it and show you what it looks like Here it is, you guys. I really, really like how this turned out. It is so stunning. It has such a sheen to it. I don't know if this one's gonna be in the Etsy shop. Just keep an eye out for it. You can favorite my shop and it'll let you know if something pops up. And I have to say thank you all so, so much for all the love and support. I can't believe I'm coming upon 800 subscribers. I am so, so excited and so grateful. Check out that drape. Beautiful. Be sure to let me know some fibers you would like to see in this new series. If there's anything you're curious about and you want to know how it would spin, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.